if Hamilton came out now, if there was no COVID, but the racial, the, the George Floyd thing, would it have been as big a success? And also the, the leaving out, the omission of some very key things, was that on purpose? And it, was it to spark conversation? And did you question it when you were in the play? Uh, it was on purpose. I did question it, and I don't think it was to spark conversation. I think at the time when it was made, we were not where everyone is willing to talk about the elephant in the room. You know, it's the same thing. I was just talking to some, uh, I was talking to a dear friend of mine. I said, you know, in the past for any oppressed person, if we, there's a moment where I was like, I can call you out on that weird thing you said, but then it'll shift the room and everyone will be upset that the room is kind of shifted that I pointed out. So like, I'm just going to eat it unless you call me like the N word, you know, I was like, if then I have to say something, but if it's not that far, I don't want to really disrupt things. And that's been the problem, and that's been a passive form of oppression that, that we've been experiencing. And I think uh, every everyone at that time, I thought that. I was like, I, I did have issues with it. And I was like, well, it does make sense. It's doing a lot of things. It is making black and brown kids interested about history. It is putting, like, hip-hop and R&B music in the forefront. You know, it's, it's doing all of those things, and you can't do it all, almost like how a politician can't pass a perfect bill. There's going to be some parts of it that's not good just to get it through the door. Um, so, yeah, I was aware, and that was how I kind of, like, reconciled with myself. I was like, there is a lot of good, and there is a lot of great going. And I think a beautiful after effect that no one saw is that omission now helps to further the conversation about why we omit and how we shouldn't. And I think that's something I love that you. accidentally happened that's, that's really, really brilliant to me, and, I can, and I'm very proud of it. What were you going to say? I was going to say, I loved how you made the distinction, though, that the, that the omission wasn't purposeful to spark the conversation, but it's been kind of a byproduct of that. And I've been seeing, you know, I talked earlier about Skylar Aston, who comes from the Broadway community, an actor, and how many folks in the theater space um, have been trying to figure out how to confront some of these racial inequities that exist in your industry. What is it like for a black man, a dark-skinned black man in Nigeria, no less, in that space? You know, is it what is it overt racism that you deal with sometimes or is it a subtext i imagine it's subversive in a lot of ways where you have stories like hamilton you have to leave out these really important things but it'll make the audience uncomfortable how do you navigate that on a day-to-day basis not just with this production um it's it's i mean it's, it's the issue of capitalism it's like if the money whole like that the dollar is the most value so everything falls to the side including morality decency empathy all of those things Thing. So the, the mm. excuse has always been, I can only speak on my industry, is we need to sell tickets. It's not about this. We need to sell tickets. It's universal. Right. You know, This looks more universal, more white faces, more white stories, more friendly stories. It will sell tickets. It's all about selling tickets. So it's not really about race. And I think we're just kind of past that. We're past the point where we have to value it. So fine, whatever. You need to sell tickets. I'm asking you to take a risk in not selling tickets to put this story out there. Then, then let's do that. If, if that's what you because I think we're at the time where that just has to, they're already making money. They're making money. And it's like shows fail all the time that are not diverse at all, that are full of like just white people, white stories, and they're just not written well. But you take that risk. So I'm just saying just then mm-hmm. take that risk with these stories and, and, um, and let's see. 